Ticks are now really common in Michigan. Lyme disease, the illness carried by ticks, also becoming more common even here in southeast Michigan. Common enough that a local health department and medical center are urging everyone to be more aware of the risk. Our Dr. Frank George is here tonight to explain exactly why spotting a tick is not always that easy. Not at all, Karen and Devin. So, you know, first, some good news. Not every tick bite is going to lead to Lyme disease, and that's because most ticks aren't carrying the Lyme bacteria. Now, if you are bitten by one that is carrying Lyme, the difference between getting infected or not is how long it is attached, making tick checks critical. You want to check in um, kind of the, cre the crevices of your body, so in your armpit, along your waistband, in your belly button. Those are really common places for the tick to kind of crawl into and hide, and they can be hard ones to find. Behind your ears and kind of in your hairline are another place that it can be helpful to have somebody else just check for you. Timing is key, says Dr. Heather Burroughs, a pediatrician at U of M's C.S. Mott Children's Hospital. I will say don't get too concerned right away when you find a tick. They have to be on your body and biting you for about 24 to 36 hours before they spread any infection. So you've got plenty of time to get that off. But you need to look carefully. As this graphic shows, some black-legged ticks that can transmit Lyme disease can be very small. In June and kind of early July is the nymphal stage of the tick, and it literally is the size of a poppy seed. Laura Bauman, an epidemiologist for Washtenaw County, says they've seen a dramatic increase in cases of Lyme disease. In 2021 and 2022, it um, doubled and tripled the numbers of cases coming in. And so that really caught our attention. So the signs that we uh, tell people to look for for Lyme disease are very much the kind of basic not feeling well symptoms. So a headache, fever, joint pain, um, a little bit of uh, fatigue can be a common that we see. If you know that you were bitten by a tick and you have symptoms of not feeling well, you should call your doctor. Now, depending on your symptoms and how long the tick was likely to have been attached, your doctor might prescribe a course of a very common antibiotic. But I do want to emphasize, not every tick exposure is going to need to be treated with an antibiotic. Also, we have uh, talked about a specific rash that seems to come along with Lyme, right? Yeah, so the classic rash is actually a spreading red ring. Think of an enlarging bullseye. Now, if that is seen, it can be very helpful in making a diagnosis. The problem is it's not always present, and some Lyme rashes rashes actually do have a different appearance. Yeah, it's wow. nothing to mess with, but again, it, a tick bite doesn't necessarily doesn't mean Lyme disease. Really. Exactly. You just need to know. be aware yeah. and check for them. Yeah. Check. You got it.